What is up, Scribblers? This is part three of the art history series. Now, we're going to be looking at the work of Charles Lebrun, and this is a bit more of a modern piece as it was created in 1806. The piece is titled Lebrun Physiognomic Drawings. It has a sense of fun and creativity to it, which I really admire. So, without further ado, let's jump in. I'd like to describe this piece as a unserious and simplified comedic study of the human form. The use of black and white values in the sketch make the piece more simplified than the other types of pieces produced by Charles Lebrun. Elements like color and lighting are stripped from the piece in order to convey the idea of this comedic study clearly. Adding more complex elements would take away from the straightforward commentary that this piece is trying to convey to the viewer. While the values used in this piece are limited to being black and white, there is still some depth that is created by the use of cross-hatching and increased detail in the eyes of both the human and the owl. The dark values in the eyes lead the audience to pay attention to the similarities of the eyes of the human and the animal sketch. There's a contrast between the scientifically accurate proportions of the owl and the ridiculous and comedic proportions of the human head. The use of unrealistic proportions for the human is supposed to show how a human head can be constructed to look similar to that of an owl. It also shows that when the human has the proportions of an owl, they look strange. This type of technique makes the audience understand that the tone of the sketch is unserious in nature. It differs from the type of historical paintings that were popular and instead shows a silly side of the mind of an artist. The illustration has a simple composition with the two faces of the owl overlapping and the front view of the owl on the top right. Lebrun continues this pattern with the human face. Because of this composition is simple, it makes the illustration look like a serious study of the human face and the owl. But because the illustration is strange looking and comedic, the composition makes the piece become a comedic study of the human face. The use of no background of the composition makes the audience focus on the faces and see how the comedic human face looks next to the owl. Thank you guys so much for checking part three. If you haven't already, please check out part one and part two, and soon I'll be covering part four and part five. Thank you so much. Take care.